And it's my belief in my lab's evidence that if you reverse the age of the human brain, Alzheimer's and other diseases of the brain will go away, that the brain ages slower than the rest of the body. Today, we're talking about perhaps the most important organ in the body, and that's the brain. And what we're going to talk about today is a totally new approach to treating dementia, and that is boosting the body's defenses against not just Alzheimer's, but against aging itself. And it's my belief in my lab's evidence that if you reverse the age of the human brain, Alzheimer's and other diseases of the brain will go away and you'll even get your lost memories back again. Okay, we're talking about other things that happen in the brain. We're talking about molecular changes that make cells forget what type of cell they are. So nerve cells become more like skin cells. And there's another process that's important during aging that we'll touch upon and particularly about its reversibility and that's loss of blood flow that the brain ages slower than the rest of the body. Well, there's a practical and an evolutionary explanation for those. The practical one is that our brain is protected. There's a blood-brain barrier that doesn't get hit by UV light like our skin does. But our brain needs to be protected from these toxins that are in the environment and, of course, um, anything that leads to brain aging. But, of course, our brains will still age. DNA breaks, we've talked about. Broken chromosomes accelerate that clock. And this happens naturally, even to cells that don't divide including neurons, the nerve cells in our brain. Unlike the liver, you can cut a piece out, it grows back. The brain doesn't easily do that. There's a little neurogenesis, if you call it, but mostly those nerve cells are going to be there for your whole life. And so they have these super protective mechanisms, these adversity systems that keep the brain younger for longer. But they're, they're not perfect, of course. We do have an aging brain, but there are ways to turn on those defenses greater than they naturally would be activated. And I find also in our generation, so you're in your 40s, I'm in my 50s, we cannot slow down either. We can't say, all right, I'm just going to deal with my compact disc or record collection. We have to be Spotify to talk to our kids. We share files where, you know, social media, if you need dates, you need to figure out that. Jobs, the job market's changing totally. We used to have one or two jobs in our lives. Now we might have three jobs. We're mobile, we work remotely, and it's turning over all the time. That requires a brain that is highly, highly adaptable. Well, absolutely. We've talked previously about the Mediterranean diet. And one of the reasons is that it's very clear in over a dozen studies that a Mediterranean type diet protects the brain from aging and can even reverse aspects of aging in the elderly with mild cognitive impairments. And there was a second study that I found fascinating. This one was by Anastasio et al. 2017. And it was over a thousand, actually close to 2000 people. And there was a 10% reduction in dementia risk for people on the Mediterranean diet. And so that includes olive oil in the diet and not a lot of red meat. Well, there are a number of things. I would put them into a few different buckets that there are vitamins that can be deficient. We need to talk about, about the clock later, but first up there's red wine, which has polyphenols. Resveratrol is one of those. And my lab has been working on resveratrol for many years. And that directly activates CERT1. It makes the enzyme, it's like a Pac-Man and it's controlling genes and it works faster. So resveratrol from red wine, it's clearly been shown to be beneficial and also prevents cancer and not just has metabolic and brain enhancing effects. The other component of Mediterranean diet that works on CERT1 is olive oil. And Doug Masinek recently showed that if you add oleic acid, which is a major component of olive oil, it's also found in avocados and other good foods like that, can also directly activate the enzyme by sticking to it and making this Pac-Man, I don't know if everyone knows what a Pac-Man is, this little <laughs> puppet creature on an electronic game, chomp faster. Um, and there's probably other molecules about xenohermetic molecules. Plants make these molecules to survive stress. And when we eat them, we get the benefits of that stress because we worry, our bodies worry that our food supply might run out. Even with a normal diet, you often don't get enough of these omega-3 fatty acids, which are the types that we don't make ourselves. If you're only meat and you don't eat fish, if you eat animals besides fish, you're not getting a lot of them. And they're the building blocks of the brain. So we need a lot of them. And they've been shown in a number of studies to, to help with many different things from wound healing and of course, depression. Now, what are the sources? Well, if you eat fish, you're probably in good shape. You've got salmon and mackerel, krill, sardines. These are good sources of omega-3s. In dozens of studies, it's been shown that if you do aerobic exercise or even just walk, that'll improve your chances of having a better memory and cognition as you get older. The reason we think that is, is that there's two reasons. One is better blood flow and also better neuronal activity and slowing aging of those cells. That involves the sirtuins, this third protective survival pathway that can be activated, of course, by this, the food and also by exercise. We forget about our brain needing blood flow and oxygenation because we don't really see it. It's not part of our daily thoughts, but it's just as important, if not more important than the rest of the body. We found not only does NMN and sort one activity maintain the youthfulness and ability to grow new blood vessels in the mouse's muscle, but we collaborated with Zoltan Ungvari at the University of Oklahoma to show that mice 
even in their brains, benefit from NMN by building new blood vessels. And those elderly mice not just had better blood flow, but could think and remember things better. And we think that's because of the improvements in, in vascular tissue. Even at the molecular level, we understand that SIRT1 and NAD play a fundamental role in controlling your wake sleep cycle. SIRT1 and NAD are going up in the morning, coming down later in the day, getting your body ready for sleep. In doing so, what they do is they turn on a particular gene called BMAL, which is part of the clock, not the Horvath clock, but the daily clock, the circadian rhythm clock. And those genes tell the liver to calm down, it tells the brain to calm down, and in the morning tells everything to wake up again. And so what is really important to understand is if you start to lose the function of SIRT1 and have low NAD levels, you're probably not going to sleep well, but also you're going to age prematurely. Another way of saying it is that as you get older, you lose your ability to sleep. And if you don't sleep well, you'll lose your ability to fight aging. And it's just a, a feed forward disaster. So you've got to intervene. You can intervene with the kind of things we talk about here, which is eating well, exercising and intervening with the kind of things that you can take perhaps as a supplement. But now let, let's talk about what do we do to make sure we sleep well and we have the right rhythm. And yeah. one of the key things that I use is NMN. NMN is going to raise NAD levels in the morning. I take a gram of it then. Uh, but I also, when I travel, I use it to reset my body. And I, I definitely feel that I can avoid jet lag if I do that. It's super important that we look after our brains. It's not just about ourselves, it's about our families. Uh, many families have had to take care of parents and grandparents that have dementia. This is not pleasant for anybody. And we have a, a responsibility to society and particularly our family members to stay healthy for longer, particularly keeping our brains younger for longer.